Hey guys, what's up? It's Yami here and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. So I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background there from my computer because it is very warm in England. It has been the hottest day of the year today. We actually got to like 34 degrees which is crazy hot for England it never gets warm here never ever and when it does man it does get hot because we're just not used to it like this is holiday weather for us and we are just so warm so my computer fan is up really high to try and cool down my computer but I just didn't want to miss an episode for you guys because I know that some of you just love watching this series so here we are with another episode. In today's episode, I actually think it's time for Thomas to age up because he is a grade A student. So I can't wait to see if his body structure changes when he gets into adult life. We will have to see, but we have to go make him a birthday cake first. That is something that I haven't done. So we're gonna get Ember to go and make a gourmet cake. I think that is what we do. What do we want? There really should be more options for cakes. I want them to add more cakes. I think we should have the pink gourmet cake. But we don't and that's sad i think these are more for like wedding occasions and not so much for birthdays but i like them because they are so detailed compared to the normal cakes anyway i also just need to check on everybody else pepper is also a great a so she's gonna age up and fiona and nora a beast so that's okay nora also needs to get another skill on the piano so you go ahead and do that girl and we also need to get someone to repair this radio here because it is a little bit broken so we'll go get Thomas to do that. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten by the cow plant again because if he does get eaten one more time he could possibly die. And I'm not sure what rules we should have. If a child gets killed do we keep it on the scar or if a child gets killed shall we take it off the scar? You guys should let me know what you think. I personally think that we should keep the baby on the scar because obviously we gave birth to the baby so the baby did exist but then it died but let me know your opinion on that and let's just get back into the game now so i also want to write another book today because it's something that we haven't done we haven't wrote a book in a long time so i'm going to choose one of your names for a book in a little while so here we go ember has made the cake and once again it is beautiful so let's add the birthday candles and then let's age up thomas if he's finished wait Thomas, no, don't provoke the cow plant because he will eat you and we don't want that. We want you to go and age up. You know, I was really scared that he was going to go and get eaten because I'm pretty sure if he gets eaten twice, they die. That would not have been very good. So let's go age Thomas up and move him out. I actually can't wait to move Thomas out purely because he just scares me with how much he gets eaten by the cow plant. So here he is aging up. Hey, his body looks normal, but then again, it might be the glitch where the Sims look a little bit fatter than they actually are. So we'll just have to see if his body structure changes. I'm pretty sure it will. And I think for Thomas, we should have something to do with children because he wants to have a wife. There we go, family orientated. How cute. So he doesn't look too bad. Let's add some candles and go and age up Pepper. Looks like Harry's come to visit. Let's let him in. Hello. So here is little Pepper. She's going to age up into a teenager and I can't wait because we can dress her. Then again, I don't want to dress my children until there's quite a lot that need to be changed. So let's see. Her outfit is a little bit crazy, but whatever. In the film, she is like a genius. Oh, this is great. Nerd brain. This sim wants to be both book smart and handy. That is definitely something that Pepper Potts is. So there we go, and a trait that we should have should be something to do with that as well. Uh, maybe a perfectionist, that would be great. So there we go. This is Peppa. She's going through her rebellious years, so she's got ridiculous earrings and ridiculous clothes on. Oh my gosh. Okay, you look crazy, but I'm going to just deal with that. All we have to do now is move Thomas out, which means we have to go and manage our household. Right, so Thomas's dad was Miles. If we can find him, we'll move him in there. I do believe Miles actually lives with Mr. Bean. Where do you live? Here he is, Mr. Bean. And Thomas, you go live with him. I don't know what's going on with this weird empty pitcherness, but we can deal with that, hopefully. It didn't crash, did it? No, nope, it didn't. Okay, well that's fine. I'm glad it didn't crash. So here we are back at the household at minus one child, which is Thomas. I guess he's not a child anymore. We did age him up into an adult, so we just have to remember that he's old now. Okay, it seems like two minutes since he was a little baby, 
but he's old now. Ember needs to give birth. We need to write a book. We need to do some paintings. Oh my gosh, so much to do. And also, we have to go out and collect some more of these rocks just in case we get some time capsules. Maybe we'll get more new collectibles to add. Oh, that would be awesome. We could maybe complete a collection. Probably not, but I always like to aim higher just in case we do and then I'll be like, yes. Oh, it just made a nice noise after we found some Ozinold, which means that maybe this is a new metal or element that we could send off to the Geo Council. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's just because we found a time capsule. I'm not sure. There's only one way to find out, and that is to dig up some more. Ember's gonna pee herself outside. Go to the toilet, and we'll get Pepper to go dig them up instead. Okay, so I'm definitely thinking maybe this is a new one. Let's go and send that off to the Geo Council. And we have a fossil in here that needs extracting. I wonder when we got that. And let's also open up this. What is it? What is it? Ooh. Lindsay. I think we've already got that. I do. I really do. I think we got that. Uh-oh. Ember is very embarrassed. Hopefully she doesn't die. Lindsay. Do we have you, Lindsay? You have a dark green bottom. Is that you? Yeah, we already had Lindsay. And we also got ourselves a broken fossil. Great. Exactly what I wanted, right? Oh, well. So it looks like Peppa's just sat outside doing her homework out in the dark. Whatever, girl. Whatever suits you. So let's open up this time capsule. Maybe there'll be something new in there. Maybe not. Nope, it's another Lindsay. Why have there been so many Lindsays today? Let's get back onto our lot. We can send off this John Quillist to the Geo Council. And then we can go upstairs and age up Baby Ross because he has been a baby for one episode now. And I should have done it at the beginning of the episode, but you know what I'm like, guys. I forgot. So Baby Ross is now going to age up into a child. I can't wait to see what he looks like. He is so cute. Let's change him to Social Butterfly. And let's also change him to Lazy. So there we go. Ross. Welcome, Ross. I do want to change his hair colour to black, though, like Ross from Friends. I do think that's what colour hair he has anyway. But I'm going to just have to look up that it's not dark brown. But there we go. That is Ross now aged up into a child. What are his moods like? Oh, he is in a very good mood, which means we're going to go and get him sorted and playing on the piano straight away just to get those skills up. While he is doing that, we need to make sure that everybody's done their homework for school in the morning because it doesn't look like they have. While he's doing that, we're going to make sure that everybody's done their homework. I know it's only a Saturday morning, but I like to get it out of the way so that they can have fun all weekend. So Fiona, you need to do your homework too. And also Nora. Before I started recording this, I actually had to reload the save because I got it to Ember's third trimester of pregnancy. And then the cow plant died and I was just so mortified and I didn't want him to be dead in this let's play. So I restarted it. I restarted it and he's alive again. So we just got to make sure that he doesn't starve to death because I will just be so sad. Please, Ember, stop peeing yourself and feed the cow plant. Oh, she's gone into labor. Okay, so go get a shower and go get something to eat and then you can have the baby. Oh, she looks really sad. She must be so uncomfortable and embarrassed right now. We'll make her feel better with a hot bath. So she's nearly ready to have the baby. I think we should do it now rather than later. Let's go, let's go. You know, I'm hoping for twins or triplets. We haven't had them in a very, very long time. I think the last twins we had were potato and carrot. I'm really hoping for twins soon, please. Please, oh, we had a boy. Okay, so Kyra, I hope I'm saying that right, said we should call a boy Jesse, and I just felt that was a really nice name, so there we go. Jesse, and it looks like we've only had one baby this time. Oh no, but here he is, baby Jesse. Let's go and take a look. Isn't he a sweetie? Yes, he is. Oh, so cute. So I guess the last thing we have to do in today's episode is always the easiest thing to do in my opinion, which is to go and get pregnant. So before Ember goes and has food or anything, we're gonna go and travel. So here we are at the household again, which I always go to. This is the alien household, but I'm pretty sure the alien glitched out because every time I went and knocked on his door and went inside, he was never in and it would say that he was at a secret location. So the house right now, 
has nothing in it. If you look, it is totally empty. So what I did is I moved in some new sims and we have the Harry Potter sims. So we have Hermione here, which actually crazily looks so much like Hermione. I don't like it how freakily good these sims look. We also have Ron and Harry over here. So in the future, I need to go off camera and put some stuff in this house for them to live with because there's nothing here and I feel really bad for them because I kind of just moved them in last episode because I kind of just moved them in after last episode in a rush and now they're just living in there with nothing. I feel really bad, but that's not the point. Today, we need to go and get ourselves a boyfriend. Do we choose Harry Potter? So who do we choose first? Harry Potter or Ron Weasley? I'm definitely thinking Harry Potter, so let's go over and talk to him. I hope he likes us and helps us feel a little better because we aren't feeling too good now. We are very embarrassed. We could possibly die. We need to get into a good mood. Wait, do we have a potion we could drink? What's this one? I'm not sure. Essence of happiness? Let's drink that. I hope this works. Oh my gosh. Yay! Ember now feels happy! Yay! I'm so happy! Yay! That worked! I'm so glad that we have those juices! <laughs> oh, it looks like Harry Potter is starting to like Ember. I'm pretty sure what we should do now at this point is travel with him back to our house just to make sure that if things do escalate that we have a bed available. So let's go and travel and hope that he turns up at our house because sometimes it glitches. It looks like it did work because Harry Potter is back at our house which is fantastic. Let's just hope he can stay here and hopefully get Ember pregnant. It's a bit awkward trying to flirt with someone when your kid is stood in between you both giving you evils. Is this actually going to work or is Ross just going to make this really awkward? Uh oh. Oh, the option for a first kiss has appeared. So let's click that. Where is he going? Dude, you can't just leave like that. You've got to kiss us and become our boyfriend. Here we go. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Let's hope so. I'm also thinking about feeding our ex-boyfriends to the cow plant. Just an idea that I had. Oh, we're going down into the basement. Ooh. I guess this is just a place to hide away from the kids. <gasps> he just slapped her in the face and denied her straight up. What? Poor Ember. He doesn't like us. Harry Potter is so mean. Why did he do that? Because our bars are quite high. I guess what we could do is ask him to move in and then feed him to the cow plant. I think that's a great idea. Let's do that. We're going to feed him to the cow plant purely because he was mean to us and he was rude. Moving in together. Ooh, Harry Potter, come and live with us. So here he is, Harry Potter, the new addition to our household. I just want to make sure that the cow plant hasn't been fed. Doesn't look like he has. So we need to, you know, get our romance up with Ember. Here we go. Uh -huh. Harry Potter's going to do the option to first kiss now. And let's see if Ember rejects him. Is this going to work? It sounds like it is. Yay, it worked. So, we just need Ember to become our girlfriend now. It's so weird playing as another sim. What? Try for a baby. We don't even need to become boyfriend and girlfriend. Excellent. Is a cow plant hungry yet? No. It shall be soon, though. Yeah, you two go make babies. And then Harry is going to die. Boo ha ha ha. He survived Voldemort, but he won't survive the cow plant. The cow plant of doom. I see why we would need these now, these essences of discomfort. We could feed them to our ex-boyfriends or ex-lovers so that they can die. That sounds really bad. This series is becoming weird. So let's go and take a pregnancy test to see if we are indeed pregnant and leave some name suggestions down below for Harry Potter's child because it looks like we are pregnant. Woohoo! And the last thing I want to do in today's episode is go and write ourselves a book because I said that I wanted to do that earlier. So let's go and start a book. We already have a book on at the moment, but it's fine. Oh, he's happy about having a kid. Okay, so the book name I have chosen is The Risks You Have to Take. And I do believe that the R does not have a capital. Why did I do that? The description for this book is actually too long to fit on, but let's just use our imagination to pretend it fits on 
because it really doesn't matter in the long run. But I really liked it anyway. So the description says, sometimes you want to have 100 babies. Sometimes you want 100 different men to do so. Sometimes a few of those men are married to your daughters. Oh, well, I really like that. So we're going to choose that book name. <gasps> Look what just popped up. The option to eat the cow plant's cake. So let's go and do that. Let's indulge in this lovely piece of cake. Mmm, chocolate cake. Who doesn't love chocolate cake? Here he comes. He thinks, ooh, look at that cake. Then he gets dragged in and eaten. Ooh. And then he gets spat out again. How gross. The option of the cake hasn't turned up again. But when it does, he's gonna get eaten. Ooh, what did we just get from the cow plant? An essence of happiness. Well, I'm going to put this on the floor over here so that we can put it in Ember's inventory because Harry's going to die soon. Right, so this is where I'm going to leave this episode in the next episode. I am plotting to kill Harry Potter, so do make sure to come back for that. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! On point. Okay. On fleek. On fleek. Ooh, theme is zombie. Brains. Oh my gosh, I got such a good idea. I have. I know what you're gonna do. Da, 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 da. Yes, exactly. How did I know you was gonna do that? <laughs> like I said, on fleek. On point. Brain on fleek. The zombies are.